too. To make the salsa to go with the pita chips, you need uh, half an avocado, which has been diced, and it's coated in lime juice to stop it going brown. So we're going to pop this in the mixing bowl. We need two firm uh, tomatoes, Roma tomatoes, which have been concassade, tomato concassade. And that's on the that's in the skills videos. We also uh, need to put in with that some uh, coriander, some chopped, roughly chopped coriander. Goes in there as well. What's another name for coriander? Cilantro is another name. You might see it in some recipes um, called that. And um, and then we need to add some chili. Now, with chilli, if you're afraid of um, burning from chilli, and um, the smaller the chilli, the hotter it is. So this is part of a long chilli, which are not quite as hot, but if you pr prone to touching your face and doing rubbing your eyes, use um, food gloves so that you don't um, inadvertently make your eyes burn. So we just take the seeds out, and I like to use my paring knife for this. We're going to dice it extremely finely. So you want to make it virtually virtually a julienne. You're going to do a brunoir of the, the chili. And if you remember brunoirs, which is one on one of the um, one of the skills videos, it's a two by two by two millimeter dice. And that's basically what we're doing here. We're making a really tiny dice. Nothing worse than eating something which suddenly has a massive chunk of chili in it because somebody's been too lazy to cut up properly. And uh, your mouth burns off. It's better to have a nice blended flavor with that mild heat just permeating as you eat it. A, a comfortable heat. And that's what this tends to do is to give you a comfortable heat. So we'll place that in there and then we're going to add all our dressing ingredients to that. So we need a little more olive oil, about two tablespoons of olive oil. So we have olive oil in the um, on the bread and we have olive oil part of the dressing and we also have some red wine vinegar okay and we just stir all that around we we'll use one of these spoons to stir it and our salsa is ready so why do you add the vinegar in our vinegar gives it a sharpness it's a it's a type of marinating. It um, adds flavour and moisture to the ingredients, mm -hmm. and it's a um, a nice contrast to the rest of the ingredients. And you spoon it into our serving bowl. And you can just smell that coriander there, and it um, it sets off the vinegar helps to set off the flavour. Now it's red wine vinegar, and red wine vinegar comes from um, as it says red wine. And what happens is that sometimes wine might go off, but it makes a beautiful vinegar. So if we ever have wine that goes off, save it to make a vinegar. So here we have this one ready, and we're just going to see if the pita chips are ready. They're nearly ready. They'll be ready probably in less than five minutes. So I'm going to serve this up on, on here. And then I'll put the pita chips around on the board that way when they come out. 